Yo, 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 yo. What's up? It's your boy, Foster Lee, AKA King Zulu Lee. If this is your first time chiming into this, this YouTube channel and this station, make sure you hit a like and subscribe down below because all I do is drop gems. And in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to get anything and everything that you ever want. It starts with you. First thing you must do is change your mindset, okay? On my um, personal, I mean, on my business page, my business Instagram social media page, I recently went live and I uh, promoted a course that I'm going to be starting called AA, Achieve Anything. And in that course, I'm going to be showing people how they can achieve anything, but it starts with your mindset. Um, I got a little clip of that live. I'm going to be playing right after this, so make sure you stay tuned and check it out. It starts with you. Never forget that. My boy. All right. If more people don't start joining in in like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, I'm going to just start, man. Ain't nobody got time to be waiting. Hold on. G, you still can't connect? Stolen from Africa. I was given this shirt by a teacher, a teacher friend of mine, Sam. Stolen from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Don't anybody else want to join? I bet. Whatever. Day loss. Um. So, where I'm gonna get started? I posted a. Uh, I posted a video up on my uh, on my personal page, and it was asking. I told people to to send me DMs or ask me any questions on on anything that they had. What you looking at? Oh, I had told them to post uh, send me some messages in the DM on any questions that they have that I could help them with as far as like helping them get started, helping them uh, figure out what's going on with their life, and. Uh, one of the questions, most of the, well, like three or four of the questions was, how did I get started? Um, how did I change my, my mindset? And then, what's up, Prince? What's going on with you, man? Um, and so I guess uh, my first course that I'm gonna be releasing is gonna be called, it's gonna be called AA, or AA, AA course, which means, it doesn't mean Alcoholic Anonymous or anything having to do with drugs but it has to do with uh, the acronym AA meaning achieve anything, all right? So um, achieve achieve anything is gonna be the name of my first course because it's gonna be literally a, a mindset shift and showing people how to, how to get started with first changing their mind because a lot of us are addicted to traditionalism and addicted to the ways of like what we've always done and what we were always taught and that's one of the hardest things that people need to do is changing how they think, changing how they perceive the world. Because once you start doing that, then that's when you start uh, uh, being able to kind of close, close one of those. Once you do that, then you're able to start achieving things that you you poss not possibly uh, would have been able to do in the beginning. Um, so it's not gonna be an easy thing to do, right? But my course, my AA Achieve Anything course is going to have you, help you, uh, help you start figuring out, you know, some helpful ways and some helpful tools to get you started with changing your mindset. Um, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. I don't want people to think that this is an overnight type of fix. You know what I mean? Um, developing your mindset takes years. It literally took years of you doing something over and over and over again and, uh, and you were able to to imprint in your brain the ways that you you know operate now and the ways you operate today. But the first thing you need to do is change your beliefs and then change your habits, because uh, once you start changing the way you believe and you start changing the way you move and operate, you start changing your habits. Then you can start uh, changing the, the the connections in your brain, the neurons in your brain. Um, you got billions and billions and billions of neurons in your brain that create connections to all different parts of your brain and they send chemical uh, impulses out and it's electrically charged. So they send these chemical impulses out uh, to parts of your brain to make you think certain things, make you react to certain things, make you uh, feel certain things. And uh, it's hard. It's hard to get out of that unless you start consistently and persistently changing uh, the way you think, changing the way you believe, changing the way repetition is the mother of skill. 100 percent, 100 percent preach. 
preach, talk that. It's and uh, the more the more consistent and persistent you are with changing your beliefs and changing your actions and thoughts. I mean, changing your beliefs and changing your thoughts, your actions will follow. And then um, that is what I started doing in my life was literally taking out my mind of thinking that uh, I knew everything. What up, what up, Mel? Getting out of my mind, thinking that, you know, I had all the answers, figuring out that uh, getting rid of the ego and the cockiness and willing, being, being willing to learn new things. And the more and more, the more and more new things that I learned, the more and more t- consistency I put at learning new things, the more I realized that I didn't really know nothing. I it was like a lot of stuff out there that I was learning. It was a lot of stuff out there that I was just now figuring out. And by the way, happy uh, happy uh, Black History Month today. The start of it, man. It's the first. You know what I mean. But uh, in brain development and being consistent with changing, is that uh, you gotta you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta think that you know. You're going to be able to change. You got to think that you're not going to be stuck in your ways and reluctant to change. You got to you got to think that, you know, I'm in control of my brain because most people aren't in control of their brains. They don't even want to believe that. But most people are not in control of their thoughts. They're not in control of their mind. They're literally just reactionary. Things happen to them. They have an emotional electrical trigger to it and they just react and they don't even know. What up, King? What up, gangster? And so. That's the first thing is that taking back control of your mind is literally um, one of the things that is a must in order to change your thinking, change your mindset, because we think that we're in control of our mind. But we have self-doubt. We have negativity. We have uh, reactionary uh, feelings to things that happen. And when that happens, if you're just reactionary, if you if you're if you if you live in a place of self-doubt or anything like that, then that's out of your control. You're not in control. It's like a it's like an instinct. So yeah, if a tiger if a tiger jump through the window at me right now, instinctively I'm gonna jump back and be scared, right? That's that's not I wouldn't be able to control that. That'll just happen. But in a mindset when you wanna succeed and you want to progress, you need to be in control of every step that you have. You gotta be in control of every step that you take. Um but in order to do that, you gotta rearrange those neuron connections in your brain and the only way you can do that is consistently 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 trying to better yourself trying to better your mind trying to strengthen those connections those those neuron those neuron those neuron connections in your brain um but because the brain they release chemicals and those chemicals are based off of your past experiences and your past uh memories and those translate into your behaviors in your day-to-day life and a lot of us um, have trauma in our past. A lot of us have, you know, things in our past that that makes us doubt ourselves. A lot of people have, what's up, Jordan? A lot of people have things in our past that that force us to second guess, and um, and then our instincts kick in whenever we're we're confronted with a new challenge or a new task, and then it's like, oh man, I don't want to do that, or I don't want to get laughed at, or. I don't want to I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And so we stop ourselves from being great by by holding ourselves back because of our past traumas and our past memories. All right. Now, everybody has a past. Right. So I'm not saying forget your past. I'm not saying, like, don't remember those things because, you know, some of those things in our past made us who we are today. And that's for every that's for every body. But what I'm saying is create new experiences, create new memories on a constant basis to reorganize your brain to reshift your brain and re re um re rewire your brain so that you know you can create positive c- connections in your brain you can create those neurons that those firings off neurons that are going to give you those memories of like oh I can do this and if somebody else can do this I can do this too you know the more and more you work at it the more and more you stay doing that you know, the stronger that your connections in your brain is going to come, the, the stronger you're going to be. Um, the thing is, is you you only going to act and feel certain things by based on your experiences. You know what I mean? And so when you change those experiences, then you change the way you react. You change the way you think. You change the way you see the world. So that was some of the things that I started off. And that's that's how I got to making the mind sh- mindset shift in my brain to create, uh, to start creating abundance and started creating success. And that's what made me go forward to start putting up so many videos and 
and investing so much in myself and investing so much into my um into my business because I got to the point of like, man, I don't care. I only thing I care about now is my family and making sure that I live the best version of myself that I can live and that the mindset that I have is that I cannot fail. There's there's no room for failure. And so even if I do like post anything and and nobody takes anything from it, I know that eventually somebody's going to going to benefit from it. I know that um, what I'm speaking is the truth. I know that what I'm speaking is positive and intentions are pure. So it's not about me, you know, becoming successful or it's not. No, it's no, there's no there's no room for failure when I know that I'm doing something out of pure intention. And so the mindset that I have now is that everything that I do going forward is going to benefit me and my family and whoever is paying attention to it and whoever's listening to it. And that's all that matters. And the success will come. The money will come. The abundance will come. The the notoriety will come. The fame will come. All that will come. But you have to believe and you have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in your intellectual property. You have to invest in um, knowledge. You have to invest in and things that are unseen. You got to invest in all the things and you have to use mentorship you have to look at the people who have expertise in the whatever field you want to be in. And you also have to believe in yourself. So that's right there. I'm going to just leave y'all with that. Um, that's pretty much what I did on my journey to start changing and shifting my mindset. I'm going I'm to have a course um, on mindset shift coming soon and, and a bunch of tools and a bunch of ways that you can uh, utilize to help shift your mindset into a positive direction and then gear your brain and then re rewire your brain into positive thinking. Um, it's going to take me a long time. That's why I said I'm not going to be posting a lot on my business page. There's a lot of work I got to put into it. Um, just, just for, just for the, uh, just for the course, like the meat of the course is going to take a lot of time. So, uh, bear with me. It's coming soon. Um, hopefully, hopefully, um, it, it should be done within the next, I would say it should be started, be done within the next week or two. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to have a bunch of resources and tools. For anybody that didn't know, um, I was a psychology major in college back in the day. And so, like, I got a bunch of my old books and a bunch of my old um, resources that I'm going to add to the book as well. Um, also a philosophy major. So, um, stay tuned. Coming soon. I got content all day. Happy uh, Black History Month again. And I uh, appreciate y'all for t tuning in with me. Uh, Fo Foster Lee, Focus Energy, over and out, baby. Holla. <laughs>